Caroline Vermutla, entrepreneur, radio presenter, and life coach. I was born and raised in a rural community in Muruleng, just outside the Pilonsburg Game Reserve. Taught in a multiracial culture and coming home, it was quite an experience because I lived outside in the world. Coming home, I decided that there was something different that I needed to make in my area and in my own life. I decided to become a life coach, not knowing that I was also able to be a presenter. I was excited to go into this world of entertainment where I am at the moment and exploring and enjoying. And as being a life coach, I've actually come to realize that it's important to give back. We all something in life. But if we don't rise up and teach our own people how to be more alive, who are we? Becoming a radio presenter was not fully my idea, but an opportunity came and I grabbed it. Auditions arrived right here in a local radio station and I took it for what it was. I did not know that I would find home in my element. I'm a talker by nature and being on radio has exposed me to the importance of having power or giving power through your voice. I love being a radio presenter. I love the entertainment industry because where information is, information needs to be given. So where I am, I'm excited to be right here on Cutting FM 91.3 and I am who I am because of you. So the decision to become a life coach, which I did decide very recently, came at a point where I saw a difference that my communication with other people made. I decided that my voice needed to be used for something. Life coach, as well as my radio presenting, is something they're one and the same. When you have a voice, when you have a gift, when you can give, give it. I never knew my voice before, up until now. It was just this year, 2016, that I decided that I would use my voice. There is change that is needed in the world and becoming an entrepreneur was something that allowed me to give the change. There is something called social entrepreneurship where you don't just chase the money, but you chase the change. And so being an entrepreneur, having started my company about a year ago, Diamond Sky Corporation, that is, I decided that I would use that as a vehicle to establish industries or be in industries that would be of change. Some of the things that I'm looking at are in leisure, in innovations, and in productions, each of which are a goal that I would want to achieve, to create an empire of change, to create an entrepreneurship that would give to others and be a voice, again, to the voiceless. We all have a dream, we all wish for many things. Where I'd like to see myself in the next five, 10 years is someone who actually rose up and fought against my own personal challenges to become someone that makes a difference in the world. There is a legacy that each of us needs to give or leave behind. And I would hope in my radio presenting, in my entrepreneurship, as well as my life coach, I would be someone that people can look back at and say she did it and for myself I aim higher than my capacity.